My name is Spencer Biles. I'm a, an English sculptor. I've been living here in France for a few years now. Three years ago, I met a very interesting man who suggested that I should really concentrate on my forest work. He was a professional photographer and he gave me an opportunity to think maybe I should concentrate on one project. The project uh, was called A Year in a French Forest and over that period of time I created maybe uh, 30, 40 sculptures all made from uh, natural materials that I found in the forest. Some of the materials weren't uh, actually natural, they were uh, found materials uh, where some of the forest had been used as a, as a rubbish tip, a poubelle, and uh, they found their way into the sculptures as well. When I was given this nice piece of forest, I spent the first three months just getting, uh, sort of looking for little bits of personality that were interesting inside the forest, particularly about uh, the location, the view, the shape of the, the trees in the different areas of the forest, they all came to uh, give me some inspiration. I would begin a, a sculpture, perhaps work on it three or four hours, and then I'd wander off somewhere else, until in the end I was probably working on about 15 to 20 sculptures at one time. And it wasn't until uh, maybe six months before the first one I felt was complete. I think possibly my work is more about the stories that were told years ago about the forest. There was plenty of space for you to use your own imagination. By being in the forest, it leaves you wondering, what is it? Is it art? Is it something uh, for the habitat of animals or birds? Or is it a trap? So it's, uh, it fascinates people, some of the work that I do, trying to understand what it is. Each sculpture that I make in the forest is uh, made specifically for that, the, the, the place that you'll find it in. So it's what they call site specific. So if I take a location, I'm looking at whatever atmosphere I find is there. In the case of the, this one, the one I'm working on at present, there's a nice swirling feeling in the trees. I didn't draw it or plan it but just respond to that feeling of movement that's going on in that space. At the beginning, I can make an armature, which gives me the basic the, the form on the inside, by using uh, things like uh, cord or vine uh, from the trees. And then I start to twist the materials around it, the new materials. I'll probably leave it now for uh, maybe two weeks, a month, and have another fresh look at it and think, is this finished? Does it need something else? Does it need uh, a bit more action going on around the base? I'm already thinking about that, and it's only a day since I, since I let go of it. But when I've met people here in the forest and they've come across my work and they, they try to describe it, there are no names on any of the sculptures because I think that leads people too much. I'm reacting to the forest, I'm reacting to the atmosphere, the materials that I find. Uh, the beginning of my day makes an awful lot of difference. If I wake up uh, feeling very bright and cheerful and energized in the morning, and I meet some nice people in the village for a coffee before I come in the forest, that goes some way to my, my uh, how I feel and how fast I work. And I was quite surprised how many new people were coming here somebody coming in the forest with a walk with a dog, they see the sculptures, they tell their friend, they phone their friend, and suddenly there was a small army of people coming down to actually physically see the work. So the project finished. Uh, with so many people came, coming out here, I started to do something I've never done, which is starting to go back in and repair the work to make it last a little longer, because uh, well, just because people were coming to see it, I wanted them to see something here. I would say that probably 50% of my work is actually probably never discovered, which is okay by me. I make, I leave, it, it lasts uh, six months, a year, or maybe a year and a half, and then it vanishes. Just let whatever's gonna happen, happen, without me trying to control it or contrive things. That's it, really.